Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Exile server. This is Shabby Q and today we got a few things going on. Um, last episode me and Skill started working on the Nether um, Railway and uh, we finished that up so look forward to that. I'm gonna show off that here in a little bit. I just wanted to have a look around spawn. People have done a couple things. Um, putting in a big logo up there on the side of the mountain. I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna work on that some more. Um, also, the lodge is coming along very, very nicely. And I'm going to come over here and get a what I consider to be a pretty good view of it right there. So yeah, you can see and they're pretty good. Um, fire still has a little bit of work to do on it, I believe. Um, I'd offer my help, but I don't know what he wants done exactly. So um, yeah, fire, if you uh, you see this uh, just let me know and I'll help you out with that um I'm gonna come right over here to my house and it's been a while since we've been here there's the cemetery starting to vines and stuff starting to grow over starting to get old in there alright maybe it'll start breaking down and decaying pretty soon at least that's what I expect maybe you know get a little weathered looking or something um yeah we're gonna come over here uh, it's been a while since I've been back to my house. I, uh, I've been working on my new base area, which I'm going to show that off here in just a second. But um, I'm going to come over here to the house, and I'm going to pick up a few more supplies. Um, show off a couple things. I did put in uh, quartz countertops. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let me know what you think. If, if you think the stone's better, or if you guys can think of something way cooler or something, just let me know. We'll see what happens. Um, up here, I don't think a lot changed up here. Nope, not really. Uh, let's go back down. Oh, I also started brewing potions over here on my potion stands in the kitchen. A little pantry and stuff. I put an ender chest in the uh, refrigerator, basically. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, nothing out here has changed. I need to finish this map, but, um, it's a pretty good view of spawn going on right here. Um, you can see all the places, but I do need to go around spawn again and basically fix this. So, um, uh, going over here, uh, I guess I can show off a couple things. One is that I want to get some more stuff, and I think I got a lot of the stuff I wanted to get. I know I wanted to get the saddles and something else. Something else? No, I think all that's just... Ooh, let me grab those shears, just because. Um, got all the dyes and stuff I'm gonna need. I could take some soul sand with me. It might not be a bad idea. What about some nether wart? Didn't I have some nether wart somewhere? Oh, I guess I'll show you where my nether wart farm is here. We come down here. Um, got a little nether wart slash mushroom farm in the basement. I, uh, just growing some down here just to, um, have plenty. Um, I did also make a way down to the zombie spawner and, uh, level 12, or level 11, I mean. Um, also right here I made a waterfall with a little secret hidden entrance, or I can get out this way or exit. Uh, we'll go back up here. I'll show you guys one more thing. Um, this button right here. Press that button, and then we got a little room in here where I was just keeping basically a bunch of extra cobblestone that I had. I've been mining up, and yes, I do have a lot of it. Uh, also, some extra, yeah, stuff like that. And this is just a little store. I might uh, use that for something later. I'm not quite sure yet. But, um, yeah. I put in the, uh, the XL symbol and the uh, different various um, things, and they're supposed to represent each person. See if you can figure out uh, which person is me. Um, all right, so um, let's see. Yep, let's go up here. It's almost night time, but yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the Nether hub there. Um, also. I don't know if I showed this on camera, but uh, 1.7 came around, 
and I healed all the zombies into uh, zombie villagers and I don't see a guy in there what happened there what is going on here if my, all my test certificates are dead I'll be upset you guys all of my test certificates are dead Welp, so long for that idea uh, maybe someone is sabotaged and killed them I believe that somebody sabotaged me Mo most likely um, just show you a couple more things there's the trading post still looking awesome and uh, crazy has built a, a little bit of a bookstore and it's all right though I just there's no prices on anything so I don't I don't know what to pay for stuff she said make an offer but I don't work that way so yeah let's go ahead and head back into the nether hub and the other hub's gotten a little bit of an update. It looks pretty good, and I'll show you all that. Alright, we're here. Um, here's a uh, the portal. And uh, got everybody's place. It's crazies. Uh, I think PK's, Scully's. I think that's Fire's place. Uh, that's an abandoned one. I think that one's abandoned too. Or is that the one of those? I think that one's the way to the Nether Fortress. Um, and this is, of course, Scabby's place, which is where me and Skills decided we would do a co-op tunnel. And just show you all, we've put in the the uh, rail, and as well underneath all these slabs are ice if you want to do running. Now, running is way faster than the minecart, of course. And if you look very closely, you'll see that these are uh, half slabs on top of the ice, and then we have half slabs on the ceiling. And that'll allow you to bounce really fast through there. But, um, yeah, I think the nether hub's turning out pretty good. Or, I mean, the nether tunnel. Um, we're going to have to see exactly what skills wants to do, but we may take uh, ideas for stuff to do. Just let us know if you have an idea share it with us or something give us a link so we can go look um, but I think it can it's right now it's two by three or four tall and uh, we might could push each wall out one so it could be like a four by four and then do some kind of design or something uh, can't really mess with the bedrock that's up there so we'll just have to see how that works out and it is a little bit of a ride and we're going to get here to the hub, and then I'm going to do a run. This is where Skills' portal is. Alright, let me jump out of here. There we go. There is Skills' portal, which is really nice. And this is continues on to my way. Alright, we have made it to my place now going in here and I'll show you all what I've been up to as you can see right here I just have a small little here let's go ahead and sleep but I have a small little starter house I did it's a build of gravel figured I should at least use some gravel because there's a ton of gravel in the game now so try to incorporate some gravel into my build every once in a while I think that'll be good um oh this you'll notice this here to the left, I am replanting a whole plains biome with wheat. And it's taking me quite a while. I'm on diamond hoe number four right now. And I'll be making number five pretty soon to finish that little area. And basically, I've done up to there. You should see, yeah, there's like a line. I've done most of that area, so it's almost I'd say it's a third done yeah so still two thirds left to go but I'll, I'll, I'll get it done no problem and um, also just to show that I'm never gonna need wheat ever again there's how many hay bales I have already just from harvesting wheat and seeds now I, I ran out of seeds because you know I'm planning but I have tons of wheat so I'm never gonna really run out of wheat or wheat related things and I say that and I need to make some bread. 
So let's go ahead and grab some hay bale there. Give me some more. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and make me some 64 bread. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so, um, well, I might as well show you all downstairs. It's just where I have some more storage and the guest bed, basically. Uh, if you go down even further, that's where my mine shaft is, so been doing a little bit of digging and stuff off camera. I'm going to go up here and I'll show you all and tell you my plan. So as you can see I have most of the biomes around here. I know it's not loaded up yet but I do have most of the biomes around here. Um, what I basically want to build and many of you might know what this is. Um, it is the Ennis House by Frank Lloyd Wright and um, I, I would just say that old Frank was um, playing Minecraft before anybody else, you know, because the house literally looks like a Minecraft house. And I think it was built in the 70s or 80s, I'm not quite sure, I'll have to go look that up and figure it out, and I'll, I'll, I'll say all that sometime later. But um, yeah, if you want to go check it out, what I'm going to build, it's called the Ennis House, um, that's E-N-N-I-S. And uh, it's a really cool, neat looking house. And I'm going to build that right here, basically where this house is. And here I'll show you on uh, one, one side of the house, which I think is the back side, there is a steep drop off, just like this one. So it um, should look pretty good, considering. Let's go ahead and go down there and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Now. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put my farms or anything. I've just been doing this wheat field to try and have a bunch of food. But plus also, I, I'm, I'm trying to make my own biome, basically. Alright, so yeah, the Ennis house is going to go right here. There's kind of a steep drop-off in a window right here. So yeah, go check it out and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm sure I'll progress through the build and I'll... Uh, ask you guys for ideas on stuff to do in in the build, you know, but um Yeah, it's turned out pretty good. This is my area. I decided on uh, There's a really small desert and a really small plains right here And uh, well the desert goes a little bit that way, but I hadn't really planned for that spot I do have a big mountain over there and I have an ice farm um also, there is a plains over this way, which is really nice. I could do some farming or something. Uh, there's a forest over that way. I do believe there is a birch forest on the other side of that plains. Um, and over here on the back side, let me go over this way, there is a flower forest right over here. And yeah, there's some of it loading up. So I've got every kind of flower I could ever want and stuff too, so... I picked a pretty good spot, I'd say. Um, uh, Skills came out with me and went adventuring and found all this stuff. And so, uh, yeah, thank you, Skills, for uh, going with me and protecting me and stuff. So it's pretty awesome of him. Um, if you guys uh, want to, go ahead and go check out um, mine and Skills' Terraria vid. Terraria! Yeah, we uh, decided we would play Terraria. Um, it's basically 2D Minecraft, or like Mario plus Minecraft, if you want to put it that way. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat little game we got going now. Um, look forward to a lot of Terraria episodes, apparently, because I think we're going to become addicted to it real quick. Um, also, um, I'm just going to start working on the house, basically, today. That's my plan over here at this crazy place. Go ahead and start working on the old Ennis house. So, um, yeah, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please share and like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Alright.